All right, hey everyone. I just want to put together a quick video to show you guys how to use this new keyword cannibalization template I put together that uses SEMrush data. So what you'll do is just come over to the keyword cannibalization template. And then here in the instructions tab, you're going to see a few little notes. What you first want to do, if you haven't already got a SEMrush account or a trial, you can just click this link here and it'll take you through to this 30-day uh, trial page that I got the SEMrush to hook you guys up with. You can see here that there's no charge until those 30 days are passed. So if you just wanna use it so you can try out the template, feel free to do so. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do once you've got your trial or your account set up in SEMrush is come in here. And then what you'll do is you'll come over and navigate to the SEO toolkit. And then once you're in here, come down, click the organic research tab, and then you just wanna drop in your domain. And then this report's gonna show you a bunch of different data around your different SEO metrics, but specifically you wanna to navigate to the positions report here. And this is basically gonna show you all of the keywords that your website's currently ranking in the top 100 search results for. You're gonna see a bunch of other data points in here as well, the keyword along with SERP features, position, the URL, search volume, all that good stuff. But for now, all you wanna do is just come over here and click the export tab, and then just export to a CSV. And then once you click that, uh, you're going to see something that looks a bit like this uh, CSV file. And you can see here, again, it's just exported all that data that we saw within the application there with SEMrush. So what you want to do is just copy all of that keyword data and then come back over into the keyword cannibalization template here. And then we'll have a look at the tab labeled SEMrush keyword export. And then all you're going to do here is you're just going to paste in as plain text, so come into the tab here and then come down and what you'll do is go paste special, paste values only, all that data, including uh, the headings. And then once that's in there, what you'll do is come up and hit this script button and then click run. And then what this template's gonna do is just gonna really quickly go and run a script in the background. And then once that's finished running, you're just gonna click on the results tab here. What it'll do is it'll look through all of your uh, keyword data from SEMrush and it's gonna go ahead and pull all the URLs together that are ranking for similar keywords. And while not every single one of these is gonna be an issue for you, it could help highlight if you have competing URLs, right? So that is, if you have multiple URLs on your site that are all trying to rank for a similar or the same keyword. And then you're gonna see where each one ranks for that respective keyword along with the search volume. And then it's just a matter of going through and manually reviewing and seeing if these are in fact keyword cannibalization issues. And this template's also gonna generate uh, in column G here, another column uh, where you're gonna be able to go through and as you're reviewing these URLs, you can just quickly assign different action items. Now, I'm not gonna go through a, every single one um, here in this video, I just wanna show you how to use the template really fast, but you, know, you can obviously say whether or not you're going to handle the cannibalization issues by deleting content, adding a no index or a canonical tag. Maybe you're gonna just do a straight 301 redirect from one to the other to consolidate link equity. Maybe you're gonna take some unique content from the competing asset, merge it into the top ranking canonical version and then do the 301 redirect. Or maybe you're just gonna go through to the competing asset and just de-optimize it. Maybe it's just uh, overly optimized for that same keyword and some of the key on page elements or copy and things like that. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can manage keyword cannibalization. That's a topic for another post and video, but I just wanted to show you this template will at least help you take keyword sets really of any size and automate the finding of potential cannibalization issues on your site. So I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know, shoot me an email or drop a comment below the video. Thanks.